and let's create the the receive payment so we could do it here but let's do it with a plus button up top this time and just say we're going to go receive payment and then anderson i'm going to type in anderson mr anderson it always reminds me of the matrix whenever i hear anderson even though it's a fairly common name you know i'm going to hit plus on the button here so we got the receive payment the method i'm just going to keep with the cash because i'm i want to emphasize this uh payment go into the payments to be deposited like the undeposited funds account and that would be similar if you had a credit card you'd have the similar kind of issue and you still might use this even if you got like an electronic transfer or something like that and then instead of putting it into the checking account we're going to put it into that payments to deposit the holding account and then make the deposit of possibly multiple payments uh at the next step down below we've got the invoice that it's being connected to i'm going to just check off the the payment that we're going to receive if we were going to receive something other than the full amount due we could type some other amount here a lower amount typically and then we would still have an amount due from there what's this going to do the receive payment represents a decrease to the accounts receivable account and the other side will typically go to some kind of cash account either the checking account or this holding account typically payments to deposit let's save it close it check it out save it and close it then in this detail down here because we're in mr anderson's uh account anderson guitars that is we see the payment uh has been made and the invoice if i go into that invoice now we can see it's been paid and we've got the link to the payment that linkage is quite uh quite useful closing that back out we can also see it if i go to the to the left hand side sales and all sales then we can we could sort our our invoices here as well by going to invoices and we could look at the open invoices or the ones that have now been uh closed so or i could say all invoices so that includes all the invoices and so we can we could search that way which if you were in the business in the business view that's in a little bit separate location it's under the bookkeeping and then the transactions and then the sales tab up top so there's where it's located on that view okay and then if we go to our financial statements we can go hey i've got a an ant on my arm or something okay if i go to the right hand side financial statements balance sheet run it to refresh it and then we're going to say the, the the accounts receivable should have gone down so if i go into the ar accounts receivable anderson is right there payment having been made note that if you put this directly into the checking account then well it will have that payment form as a deposit let's go into it here and there's our actual form so that looks good so it's a decrease to the accounts receivable scrolling up back and then the other side is also on the balance sheet it goes not into the checking account but rather to that holding account which is in other current assets we go into that and we see it here now the point i was trying to make is that if you deposited this side directly into the checking account it would show an increase in the checking account but not with a deposit form but rather with a payment form making it a little bit more difficult to search by transaction on it let's go back up we can also see the sub ledger will be tracking this ar let's check that out i'll go to the tab to the right right click and duplicate we kind of saw it in the internal uh areas over here in the in the centers but let's look at it by report reports on the left hand side closing up the boogie so we can so we can boogie in, in a bigger dance floor or something i don't know what I'm, okay so then who owes you accounts receivable aging summary and then we're going to go this is from 0101 this is going to go to 12 31 2, 3, the end of the period the total by customer at the 4320750 at this point for these three customers should still tie out to what is here so that looks good also that payments to deposit should be reflected in the deposit field now so if i go to the first tab and i go to the plus button make deposit then now you can see that that's being populated right here so if i have to match it with any other deposits i can do so to put it into the bank in the same grouping as will be, be shown on the bank side on the bank feeds or with the bank statement
But before we do that deposit, let's do another one so we can see how we can kind of match the deposits up. So let's do it ultra vase another time. And we're gonna go to the to the plus button up top. And we could find in the sales area, we might search, you know, by all transactions for the open transactions or by customer. And then I, I think most people would probably go here and then go to the open transactions. And then this one, this is the open invoices and then say, okay, here's our three people. Eric Music. I'm going to go into Eric Music. We're going to imagine we got a payment from them. And so we're going to say there's the open invoice. Let's just do it this way this time and just enter, just make the receive payment from here. So it'll open automatically. And then there's my receive payment form and the customer's already populated. The date, let's bring it to 25. That's good. The payment method, I'm just going to stick with cash and it's going to go once again into undeposited funds the invoice already having been checked off down below what's this going to do well it's a receive payment form that means the accounts receivable is going to go down the sub ledger is going to go down for eric music as well and the other side is going to be going into the the um the the payments to deposit account so and because we're not going to put it directly into the checking account so same thing let's save it and close it and then we'll check it out a little bit more quickly. Balance sheet, run it. Accounts receivable has been decreased. There it is, Anderson and Eric. So let's go up. It's no longer someone owing us money, but now we have the money in our hands and the payments to deposit, not in the checking account yet. And there's there it is right there. There's these two, that looks good. Now this sub ledger account, should match here which we can see here so now we've only got these two that owe us money at the twelve thousand seven fifty seven fifty. that matches what's on here twelve thousand seven fifty seven fifty. on the first tab we also can see that we have the the invoice the invoice having been paid uh so if i go into the invoice it's been paid uh one payment made so that looks good and then there's our payment also on the balance sheet we've got the amount in the payments to deposit 347250 now which should match if i go to the first tab the deposit if i make a deposit form those two items should be included in here so i could check them off